Today we've come to King's Cross to Daniel Ford International Letting Agency to find out all about their company. We deal with more sophisticated clients, high net worth clients that want basically the budding of every process to be handled by someone else. So most things that become a request, we tend to have a department for it ultimately. When I came here first time, uh, Daniel Ford was a very small company with three, four people in it. When Yemi came, he tried to, you know, build a company. You, had to, you have to build the trust. We worked hard on that. I think one of the greatest strengths of the company is the dynamism it has shown in picking different services to offer. And people marvel that, oh, when did you start doing this? But really, most things we now showcase later on, we probably have been doing it on a smaller scale. When we're sure that it's mature, that's when we now push it out there. We also went into property management. So we started building people like Chris that's just leaving us. So we had a team like that growing, you know, doing maintenance here and there, and then doing some other building works. So that way you, you get more manpower employed. I start for one day. And this one day continue to 15 years. Their contribution, their resilience, you know, has helped build the solid foundation uh, the company is presently enjoying. It's a big pleasure to work for Daniel Ford because uh, all this year Daniel Ford was uh, part of my family. The last 16 years I live here. Uh, the colleague will be missing, the job will be missing because I. Uh, <laughs> The, the life, life here in, in, in London is totally different than where I'm going now and where I came. We went out there 16 years ago to preach about the benefits of investing in this wonderful city. And regardless of all the things that happened, negative or positive, it still sustained that um, opinion. So uh, there are so many things. If you look around, there's cost to to really, really be thankful that, you know, of all the industries, one, one found himself in this one. That's all from us here at Daniel Ford International. They're on Bolt Street, round the corner from King's Cross Station. My name is Krasimir Stankov, but the English people can't pronounce Krasimir, so everybody call me Chris. Now, uh, you've been, you're leaving Daniel Ford. Yeah. When did you join the company and um, how has been your experience company? Uh, I joined the company 2004. And uh, I start for one day. And this one day continue to 15 years. <laughs> and I believe your wife and your daughter... Uh, yeah, they... Yeah, 2007 they joined. Uh, my wife starts to work in the same company. My daughter was in... was student, studying uh, Thames Valley University. And when uh, she finished the school, she starts... Uh, to work in Daniel for two, maybe two, three years. And now she's back to Bulgaria. How have you enjoyed working for Daniel Ford? It's a good experience, bad experience? Of course, <laughs> of course it's good experience, but this, is, well, this was uh, uh, totally different. Than, uh, English standard is different than uh, Bulgarian standard and European standard. I've been in many countries. So, in England, here are specifically jobs, so, yeah, but this is, this is good. Step by step, I try to improve. And uh, what job were you doing? What was your job? I'm a builder. We've got many properties. Uh, 
the problem was uh, on the driving because uh, every day I have to go to three, four, five, sometimes six property per day. Uh, you know, the, in London it's very difficult for driving a lot of time, but it's, it's, it's London. It's... How has the, the company grown? When you came, oh. how many people were here when you first came? Uh, when I came here, the company just just begun, just started. And here work maybe five or six guys. And my boss, Yemi, every day, every day uh, came to, to see what, what is done, what is not done. But this was a long time ago. The company is growing. So now I didn't see Yemi three, four months, maybe from Christmas after Christmas. Once, <laughs> maybe I saw her. Uh, this is business. This is good. The business is growing. And uh, what will you miss the most? What what aspect of work? It's everything. It's everything because last 16 years I live here. Uh, the colleague will missing. The job will missing because I... Uh, <laughs> the, the life, life here in, in, in London is totally different than where I'm going now and where I came. Here, so everything. And do you have one last message you would like to give the people for Dan the people of Daniel Ford? To continue, to growing, to make money and happiness. Name is Yemi Edun, uh, Daniel Ford International Chief Executive Officer. Well, they were part of the company at the formative stage and their contribution, their resilience, you know, has helped build the solid foundation uh, the company is presently enjoying. How has the company changed since then? How has it grown in terms of the services it offers, the, 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 the income it makes, the amount of staff you employ? How has the whole culture around Daniel Ford changed? Well, I believe everything has improved. So in terms of numbers, you know, figures, um, staff, portfolio, every measure, any, every metric has gone up. The only thing that's gone down is uh, the number of properties we lose. And you've changed the nature. Before it was just selling, now you've there's acquisitions. How and what, what sort of things has the has the uh, has Daniel Ford International brought in uh, and, and developed in the in the last fifteen years? Well, the growth has been organic, and uh, basically we have reacted to the needs of our client base. You know, um, most estate agents and firm are okay with um, lettings, property management, and sales, but we deal with more sophisticated clients, high net worth clients that want basically the burden of every process to be handled by someone else. So we had to bring in things like concierge, um, repairs, um, school finders. So most things that become a request, we tend to have a department for it ultimately. Yes, so we were saying about the changes, uh, how the company has changed. Okay, internally, we had to react to the needs of the clients. We had to grow in terms of numbers, in terms of the quality of people that came on board. But the change transcends even the internal um, workings of the company. The area has changed. You know, King's Cross has you know, benefited from immense regeneration over the last um, 16, 17 years. The market itself has changed as well. You know, over this period, we've, we've gone through a major recession and, you know, various events in London and we are, we are facing another big one at the moment. So um, I believe we've been able to withstand the various changes, the ones that we have trusted upon ourselves 
by our success and our growth and the ones that the general climate of the market and the and the environment has, has trusted in us. And sort of looking forward, um, what do you, how do you see the future for the market and, and for, the, for Daniel Ford International? What new ideas do you have? Um, how do you see the company developing? There would always be ideas, but not all ideas you can really uh, push through. You know, we have to be realistic. The couple that left today, you know, they've, they are no longer young stars. Uh, you know, they were not the same age they were when they came in. So um, we don't want to overtrade. There would always be new opportunities, but we would rather, you know, you know, focus on our strength. Our strength is London. Our strength is properties and uh, associated um, things to properties, you know. So there are opportunities there, but we'll think them through if it would work for us before uh, taking a leap. And what would you say the main, almost the main principle has been over the last 15 years for, the, for, the, for Daniel Ford International? sort of your business principle and the way you've incorporated that into the development of the of the company to the success you've enjoyed today? Was it small steps? Was it don't be too ambitious, don't sort of or always be open to new ideas? Was there one central idea or was it a mixture of different ideas? Well, like um you're right. It can be one, you know, there's no tick list, uh, you know, but it's a convergence of so many factors. Having good people in the team, um, having as our main ethos, treating people fairly and, you know, trying our best in whatever area we're providing services in. And when clients are happy, they refer their friends to you. There was a question you asked earlier on that. What's the main, what's the standout um, um, thing that I can point to? You know, like I said, there are various things. However, I think the biggest thing personally is the fact that we are dealing with second generation buyers. So people that, you know, youngsters that were in school and their parents were paying their tuition from the rental income of properties we manage are now buying properties. For me, that's, uh, that's, that's the moment the penny dropped and I realized that this is a company that has come to stay. Uh, and what, in your time, what's given you the most pleasure? What do you think overall? Could be one moment or, or just the way the, the company, you know, seeing people develop, is there anything that stands out for you? No, there are, there are various things. There are members of staff that you knew how they came in, you know, um, and how they've grown. You um, Clients that were reluctant buyers are now our biggest ambassadors. Um, the safety and the, 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 the guarantees that investing in a London property gives and it still not disappointed us because we, we went out there 17 years ago, 16 years ago to preach about the benefits of investing in this wonderful city. And regardless of all the things that's happened, negative or positive, it still sustained that um, opinion. So uh, there are so many things. If you look around, there's cause to, to really, really be thankful that, you know, of all the industries, one one found himself in this one. Change, <laughs> you know, looking at it in particular, if we reverse this day to 2003, you know, the phones were not as robust. There was no camera phone. And the staff, you expect them more from the staff. The, the, the rights of the staff are more entrenched now. Um, the personal relationship is less so, but thankfully we've had, uh, we had longevity of, um, of a team. So with that, we understand ourselves and we've been able to, 
to ensure that um, there are good relationships. But a lot has changed, and a lot will still change. A lot has changed in areas of legislations, um, expectations from landlords. You know, te tenants have more rights. Um, statutory changes. You know, there's so many changes, and we just have to keep abreast as much as as we have. You know, um, one of the best days was the day we won best um, property management company in London. The the good days, there are so many good days that you tend to forget the not so good ones. We we were just a lettings and property management company and I was a financial advisor doing uh, mortgages, you know, and uh, life policies. Then along the line, the recession of 2008 was was big, you know, wiped out a lot of companies. But thankfully, because it killed the mortgage market, we were doing about 40 mortgage offers in two months, it dropped to about three. And thankfully, we, the property management aspect of things was growing. So from four properties, you know, we were close to about 100. That was able to sustain us at that point. And, um, you know, when we looked at the market and realized that we could give better service to our client base in terms of acquisition, because the belief is that uh, one of the biggest investments anyone will make in life is buying a property. And the buyers were not represented. You get agents representing the vendor. So we started, we are one of the first acquisition agents in the, in the country, you know, and you know, we are one of the first to come out and say, we are acquisition agents. And it was tough originally because people were not used to paying someone to buy a property. But as time went by and people realized the value they were getting, you know, it built on, and there are so many acquisition firms out there. My typical day, go get home or in the office to get my emails at some point in time. But nowadays, you, there's nowhere to hide. You, your mails, you know, you read probably equivalent of four books a week with the emails you get, especially when you have about over 30 people reporting to you, you get emails on the day. So my typical day starts around 5.30 and you can get anything from the good, the bad, <laughs> or the very bad, depending on what comes up in your email. It could be a staff being uh, poorly on the day. It could be a client um, needing something urgently. It could, you know, it could be anything. And you get into the office, it could be any anything. It could be when you manage a, a large portfolio, anything can happen. You know, there's, there's not a lot that we've not experienced, you know, that could happen in a normal uh, course of, uh, of a day. But my, my day is practically coming in having a set uh, to-do list, but most times by 11 a.m., some other things will come up and you have to prioritize, but you have to be very dynamic. And I think what, one of the greatest strengths of the company is the dynamism it has shown in picking different services to offer. You know, um, and people marvel that, oh, when did you start doing this? But really, most things we now showcase later on, we probably have been doing it on a smaller scale. When we're sure that it's mature, that's when we now push it out there, you know. But regardless of what it is, everything we do is still property related. Daphne, first things first, what is your name? Remy Coker. And, uh, and what has your job been here at Daniel Ford? Um, it's, well, from the start, it's evolved. <laughs> From being um, an admin person to start with, from the very beginning, then it moved up to sales. Then now we do acquisitions together with sales. So over the years, it's evolved. Sounds like it. And you were the first person through the door. You were employee number one. Not really. I won't say that. <laughs> <laughs> but how have, you enjoyed, how have you enjoyed your time working here? How many years have you been here and sort of how have you enjoyed um, Daniel Ford? Well, I've been here since 
2003-2005 but um, it's been it was challenging at first because I've never done this sort of work before it was basically admin but then when Yemi came Yemi made it more interesting for me and he got me to to enjoy the work more and learn more I want to learn more on the job because he had more experience than I did so so yeah so it's been good. And um, what sort of thing, how do you feel you've sort of developed, you've, you've developed skills, you're doing different jobs. How does it think that's, that's, that's changed you and, and, and helped you develop and grow? Um, to start with, with this job, you get to meet a lot of people. So I meet different people from different parts of the world. And you, you just, um, you learn on the job. And because of the sort of things that we do, we look for properties for people, not just the clients alone. You meet other agents, you meet other people to talk about properties with, especially when you go to the auction rooms, you know. So that's helped me to to gain a different kind of experience that I wouldn't have done if I didn't have that exposure. So it's, it's, not, more, it's not just about sales because we do acquisitions. So it's a broader thing that we do than just doing, you know, trying to sell a property. We do more than that. And how has the company changed? Obviously, there are a few of you to start <clears throat> in terms of the numbers, but also in terms of the services the company provides and how it works with its, its clients and customers. So I'll say the, oh, the company has um, changed over the years. We only had few properties we were managing and we lost a few we've been able to grow based on referrals so you do a good job the clients are happy they refer other people to you so that way the company has been able to you know grow and then when we started we were just doing sales and lettings and Yemi thought about new ways, you know, sales and lessons was getting boring. You know, which what other way can we make money? What other way can we make the company bigger, you know, grow the business? So we decided to go into acquisitions. Before that, we also, after or during doing lessons and management, we also did, um, uh, went into property management. So we started building people like Chris that's just leaving us. So we had a team like that growing, you know, doing maintenance here and there, and then doing some other building works. So that way you, you get more manpower employed. We needed more people because during the years, um, properties that we're managing, got the portfolio was getting bigger and bigger and wider. Obviously you need more hands to manage that. So, yeah, <laughs> and it's been an enjoyable process for yourself. See, and you know, feeling that you were helping the company grow, bringing you know, helping the company make more money, bringing more people and, and more services. Yeah, it's been a growth, a journey, a good journey, an interestingly good journey, um, which you know we're still growing. I'm still maturing in it. So you, you don't learn everything. Even Yemi, the boss, he learns every day. We all learn, you know, we learn from each other. We learn from other agents. We learn, learn from experiences. So, but, you know, sometimes the deals fall through, but, you know, you pick up and, and keep going, you know, and, and try and make more money as well and close more deals. If there's one lesson you, that you learned while working at Daniel Ford, that you will take for the rest of your life. What lesson do you think it was? Well, there are loads though, but one. I've put you on the spot. I meant. Yeah. Well, never give up, because sometimes a bad deal can just can just make you mess you make mess you mess your whole day up, even mess a whole month up because you planned. You know, so you never give up. You just pick up and. Keep moving and, you know, better things will come. And uh, one last message for the company and the bosses. <sighs> well, we'll keep doing what we're doing. We're, we're open. We're, we're, you know, we're not, we don't look down on what clients want. So if a client wants to buy a property that is 1,000, I mean, 100,000, 
<clears throat> we're, we're here to, to, to help them. If someone comes and say they need a property for two million, we're also there. So just because your budget is low doesn't mean that we, we treat everybody the same, with the same respect. This job has helped me to grow. Um, I'm much smarter in what I'm doing because I, I started not knowing anything about pro properties. So I've learned a lot that, uh, you know, um, I've learned how to deal on how to deal with individuals because they're different characters of clients, you know, some, uh, some are gentle, some are hard, some are harsh, some, you know, so you have to learn how to just manage each client because, you know, you, you don't want to fall out with anybody. You know, you learn that from Yemi. Yemi never falls out with any client. I've never met any client that Yemi's falling out with. It tries as much as possible to, you know, make things work. Even when we fail sometimes, he still goes back and, you know, try to, you know, fix things. And, yeah, I think, and, you know, it's not just just on the job because it, it takes you to to living your life as well, you know. You know, you just learn how to manage people and treat people. Yeah. Yeah. First of all, can you tell us your name? My name is Violeta Stankova. Okay. And your job here? Well, what was your job here? Oh, I started in this company or caretaker. And uh, how many years? I don't remember. 13, 14 years. I work for our company, Daniel Ford, and for me, it's a big pleasure to work for Daniel Ford. Daniel Ford was uh, part of my family, um, part of my life. When I came here first time, uh, Daniel Ford was a very small company with three, four people in the office. And now I'm happy because see, we are growing. Um, our clients are very happy with the service. So I want to thank you. And I'm happy to say thank you to our boss, Yemi, for everything. Mm -hmm and hope all our clients are happy with my job because I work here with big pleasure. I accepted every task of my job with um, all my heart and pleasure. What do you think you will miss the most about working at Daniel Ford? Maybe to be part of this um, great, great, great company, definitely. People are very friendly. First year, uh, first years, they helped me what to do, how to do, how to improve um, the job. So maybe, yeah, definitely our team miss me.